All right, let's do a little screen recording here of doing some workbook for chapter 28. And one of the things that we saw with chapter 28 was um, in the workbook, it just talked about the preponderance of nominative adverbial participles. So it's something like the fact that it's like um, uh, greater than 80% or something like that are nominative. So greater than 80% are nominative. Um, anyway, we'll look at that as we work through some of these. So let's start with number one. Um, here's an aorist adverbial participle, Elfanti. This is um, the aorist of Erkamai. Um, we notice also that it's dative. This will make sense as we move along. Um, as we just, if we just go word by word over this, we might say, we might start with after coming into the house, okay? And then we have, and then that would be this part, okay? Um, but then we have the main sentence, which is, they came to him. And um, so we've got to figure out how this participial phrase relates to the main sentence, they came to him. And it's essentially, if we look at the, the, the participle, it's a dative. And so this participle, Elthanti, is referring to to him. So, af so they came to him, and we might say then, after he came into the house, or something like this, they came to him after coming. But in order to, um, in order to make it clear that this coming is being done by him, they came to him, you might just say, after he came into the house. So that's a good example of not only clarifying the translation, but as we clear, no, as we clarify, notice that we we lose the ing, and we simply take on the time of the main verb. So this is an aorist, and so this relative time of the participle comes out to he came into the house. So that's one good example of a dative, and how that relates, what how it connects, and then how we have to then make the translation. All right, let's go down to number two. So, um, aspasamenoi is aspadzamai. Aspadzamai is a deponent. Here in the aorist, it is a middle deponent, middle only. And so, um, we might start by saying, after greeting the brothers and sisters, after greeting the brothers and sisters, we remained one day with them. Okay. Now, the question then is, who... Who is doing this? Um, is Are the brothers greeting or are we greeting? And so we might say in this case, even though it would be after greeting the brothers, we might say after, and since this is nominative plural, and here's our, it's, it's a first person plural, after we greeted the brothers and sisters, Um, we stayed or we remained, we remained um, one, we, with them one day, with them one day. All right, so that's, that would be an example there. All right, let's keep going on. Uh, chapter, or the, in number three. Um, so if we just go word by word and immediately on the Sabbath, um, and here's ace erkamai as an, as a, um, as an aorist participle, um, after coming into the synagogue, he was teaching. So let's, let's clean it up a little bit. Um, uh, here is, he was teaching, he was teaching, um, and on the Sabbath, so we could say he was teaching on the Sabbath, immediately on the Sabbath, he was teaching after coming into the synagogue. So after coming into the synagogue, he was teaching them on the Sabbath. You, so all of these, um, all of these chunks coming into, as he was teaching them, um, you can, you know, mix and match uh, however you need to do it, however you need to make this sentence work. If you want to make it clear that this in the word order, so and immediately um, on the Sabbath, after coming into the synagogue, he was teaching. That would be fine. So 
Um, let's do number four. Um, here's uh, our subject. Um, the father of the child um, was saying, uh, I believe, quote. Um, but, and then here's our aorist adverbial participle. Immediately after crying out, the father of the child was saying, I believe. So we might say after crying out, this is the, um, uh, this is a nominative masculine singular. So the father of the child is not only the subject of this verb, it's also the subject of this participle. So uh, that would be another example. Okay, uh, let's see, we'll do number five. Um, the servants of the owner, um, that is the subject, main subject. Here's after, uh, it's a nominative plural, after coming in. But after coming in, the servants of the owner said to him, Lord, Lord, um, did we not sow good seed? Did we not sow good seed? So um, I think this has come from the parable of the wheat and the tares. Um, but again, here we have our adverbial participle, um, nominative plural. So the, the subject, quote unquote, of the, of the participle is um, hoi douloi to oikades um, patu. So the servants of the owner uh, are the subject of the participle. Okay. Uh, um, and then here's number six. Um, but after hearing, Herod was saying, um, whom I beheaded, John, John, whom I beheaded, this one was, is raised. So, um, whom, this is a relative pronoun, whom I beheaded, and then John, uh, maybe this is John, whom I beheaded, um, this one, he is raised. So, um, but here's our, here's our uh, aorist participle. So these are, this is a good example, chapter 28. I'll go on and do seven through 10 uh, in the next video, but hopefully this is helpful as we, um, as we are identifying the subjects of the various participles um, in the sentences and how they are connected to the participles. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay, we'll go on to our next video.